Hello folks, welcome to Tech Ferment. I am Rij Raj. In this video, I am going to talk about JavaScript for the beginners. So first, in this course material, I am going to talk about what is JavaScript. And then, we are going to talk about what you can do with JavaScript. And then, where does JavaScript code run? Next, we will talk about how you can work on JavaScript. And after that, we will go to the code part. So my first question is what is JavaScript? So JavaScript uh, is one of the most popular programming language that widely used in the world right now and it is growing fast than any other languages. With JavaScript you can make interactive web pages and you can perform some actions or events uh, on specific development with the help of JavaScript. And the big companies like Netflix, Google, Microsoft, PayPal, Walmart build the entire application around the JavaScript. And it is a great opportunity to learn the JavaScript. And the next question is what you can do with the JavaScript. So with JavaScript, you can make interactive web pages. And even you can make a mobile or web applications with the help of JavaScript or you can make in real time networking chat applications like uh, live streaming applications or chat applications. There are a lot of things that you can do with the help of JavaScript. And the third, you can also build command line tools with the help of JavaScript and even you can build uh, games uh, for the JavaScript. So here is the example for JavaScript games. So the next question is where does JavaScript code run? So Initially, JavaScript was only designed to run the code only in the browser. So every browser has a rendering engine which, which we call as JavaScript engine. So for example, Chrome, we have Chrome V8 engine, Firefox, we have SpiderMonkey, which, uh, which is responsible to execute the JavaScript file inside the browser. In 2009, an engineer called Ryan Dahl took an open source JavaScript engine in a Chrome and embedded inside it with the C++ program. He called that program is a Node.js. Node.js is a C++ program that includes Google V8 JavaScript engine. Now with this, you can run JavaScript code uh, without the browser. So overall, Node.js is a runtime environment for JavaScript where you can run your JavaScript code out of the browser. So in the nutshell, JavaScript code can be run inside the browser or outside the browser. So my next question is how you can work on JavaScript. So you can work on JavaScript as a front end developer, like you have to work on the user interface. You have to design the uh, UI with the help of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Or you can write a business logic with the help of uh, JavaScript as a back end developer or you have a knowledge of front end plus back end you can go for the full stack developer so next question is what is ecmascript and how it's different to the javascript well ecmascript is just a specification javascript is a programming language that conforms to this specifications so we have this organization called ecma which is responsible for defining standard the care of the ecmascript First version of ECMAScript, which is we can call as ES, was released in 1997 and then the starting of, from 2015, ECMA has become a working on annual releases of uh, newest specifications. So in 2015, ES 2015, they released ECMAScript 2015, which is also called as ES6. So on, there are a lot of versions you can go on. So let's start it how we can work on JavaScript. So every browser has a JavaScript rendering engine. So this is a Chrome browser having a Chrome V8 engine, which is responsible for running your JavaScript code. So if you can go to the Chrome and click on the second button and then you go to the inspect element and there is a section for the console. Here you can write your JavaScript code. So let's start it. So let's suppose I want to write console.log, which is a command where we can add some logs with the help of JavaScript. So here we can pass a string. Let's suppose hello world. 
and then this is a hello world and similarly you can define a variable let's suppose i have defined a variable which has a value of around 45 so we can print the value of a of this is 45. so this is how we, we can run javascript code inside the browser in chrome v8 engine next for writing your javascript code you just need a code editor so you can go for the vs code editor uh, which is most popular code editor you can use or you can go for the sublime editor and this is a vs code editor i have already installed or you can also install node.js if you want to run your file uh, javascript file without a browser so then you can download the node.js so i have already downloaded the node.js in my system so this is a vs code editor so what i do i will create a new file or in the desktop i will create a new folder javascript and then i will drag and drop or i can open this workspace so in this folder so this is it i have a folder inside this folder i can create a file so for writing a javascript code you need to create a web page so we can create a web page with the help of html this is an index.html page here we can write a boilerplate uh, or the structure so i'll write html5 this is a basic syntax for the html yeah. and before closing the body tag here you can define a script tag and here you can mention your javascript code so i will write the same logic console.log and here i can pass a string save and you can go to the folder directory and you can open this page and again like this is nothing because we haven't print uh, the logic in the html element so we'll go to the inspect element and then console there is the sections here we can print the uh, javascript logic now you can also add some comments uh, that you can uh, use uh, for understanding purpose so you just need to use this symbol and you can pass a comment so this is a javascript comment you can also define a javascript file inside html or you can create another file let's say i want to create a file named script.js here we can add a logic i will cut this logic i will paste it here and i'll just simple link this javascript file with the help of script tag and then here need you need to pass src as an attribute and you just need to link this file and that's it so I, again i will reload this page so it's working properly as i have mentioned earlier you can run your javascript file with the help of browser or out of the browser with the help of node.js so i have already installed node.js in my system so what i can do i can go to the inspect uh, vs code editor this is a terminal i will open this terminal and inside this terminal i can run uh, the javascript file so i have already installed the node.js and then i just need to type node and then script.js the file name So it will return hello world as I as we have written this code. Now I will talk about variables in JavaScript. So what is a variable? Variable is just like as a box and having a value, we can provide a label which is, which can be considered as a variable name. So we can create a variable in JavaScript with the help of where as a keyword before ECMAScript. But after ECMAScript, you can create a variable with the help of let as a keyword and you can pass a variable name. Let's suppose I want to create a variable which name is A and here we can pass a value. So we can pass a value. And there is optional thing you can add semicolon or not. It's totally up to you in JavaScript in the newest version. We can print the value of you can also print the value of variable with the help of console.log is a command and inside we can pass the variable name so i will save 
I'll go to the browser and I will reload this page. And this is a 45 for the variable A. You can also concatenate the string. So here, let's suppose I want to add some text like value of A is equal to A. So this is how you can concatenate. And you cannot use the reserve keyword. Uh, for example, you cannot define a variable, let's say where let where is equal to uh, 56. It will give you the error because you cannot define the reserve word as a variable. And the second thing, you cannot start the variable with the number. So let's suppose I want to start a variable, let's say 1a is equal to 56. This is not possible. You have to use a simple variable name. And the variables is case sensitive. So let's suppose I want to print a value of a is equal to, let's say 56. And I will copy the entire logic and I will paste it here. I will pass the value of capital A. And these JavaScript language is case sensitive. So I will page, reload this page and the value is different. So this is how we can create a variable. We can also create a string with the help of uh, like double quotes. So let and we can pass a string. So in the double quotes or single quotes, you can pass a name. So your name or I'll write tech ferment. I will save and I can print the variable console.log and here we can pass the name. So I will save and I will reload this page. This is a tech ferment. You can also define Boolean variable. Let we can create a is visible is equal to maybe you can pass true or false value. So the value of is visible is by default true. We can print console.log and here we can pass is visible as a value. I will save and I will reload this page so it will return true or false. So this is kind of uh, we can use. We can create a variable with the help of JavaScript. And one more, you can create a constant variable with the help of const as the keyword. The value cannot reassign. So let's suppose I have created a variable, the value of uh, as a constant, the B, and the value is let's suppose 78. So I will print this uh, value with the help of console.log. And the, I will print the value B. So this is a 78. So after assigning this value, we cannot change, uh, re reassign the value. So it will give you the error because this is a constant. So we can create a constant with the help of const as a keyword. Now in JavaScript, we can also perform arithmetic operations. So let's suppose I want to create a variable where a is equal to four and let b is equal to uh, six. So we can perform arithmetic operations. So we can go for console.log and we can provide arithmetic operations like plus console.log and here we can divide or subtract and console.log similarly for a divided by b and console.log a multiplied by b so i will save and i will reload this page so the value of a is 4 and value of c b is 6 so these all are the result also you can perform the logical operations so let's suppose i want to create a variable x is equal to maybe you can pass the value is true and here maybe you can create a variable of y is equal to maybe you can pass the value is false so in the logical operator you can perform and operations or operations so here i will pass console.log so a and and b not a and b i will write x and y so in the end uh, logic so both if the value from both end will be true it will return a true otherwise it will return a false so th the value is false so this this is the and operations and also you can perform the all or logic so you can or just you need to use this keyword and it will return true so 
this is how you can implement logical operations now we'll go for the conditional statement so let's suppose i want to create a variable where a is equal to 5 so in the conditional statement we have if and else so this is the if section and if the value is successfully uh, true it will return this logic otherwise we will print in the else sections so we can pass like if a is equal to is equal to means the equality to uh, maybe you can pass the value is 5 so if this particular block is true so we can pass some console.log we can write like uh, yes otherwise if value is not match we can add this logic in the l sections save and then reload so it's, it will always return yes because the value is a is equal to 5 let's suppose i want to change the value it will return no so this is how you can create a conditional statement or you can use ternary operator so let's suppose i want to write a is equal to is equal to 5 if the value is just true so what i want to print i want to print console.log yes otherwise if the value is uh, not true so we can print this value we can also print uh, the entire logic so it will return a no now i'll show you how we can create an object in javascript so we can create an object with the help of curly braces so we can define an object uh, let's say i want to create an object of person so this is a person name object and for creating object we have to use curly braces and inside this object we need to pass property in terms of key value pair so let's suppose my key is a name and its value is let's suppose uh, tech ferment or the student one and the age is let's suppose i want to pass the age is 13 so this is how we can create an object and we can print the object with the help of console.log and i will write person and i will reload this page so this is the object having a two property as in terms of key value pair so first property key is uh, age and value is 13 and second property the key is name and the age is uh, name and its value is student one so we can also print uh, the data so we can also print the each property of so i'll go to the console.log and here what you need to do you have to write an object and the property name and the property name is key that this is a key for the property name so this will return a name so this is a student one for example i want to print the age so i will write object dot property name the key or you can go the same methods uh, you just need to use square bracket and inside the you can pass the web property so this is our name and again i will go for i will paste it here i will change the age same thing uh, both are same thing uh, you can use this method or you can use this method or you can change the value of uh, f x y z property like if i want to change the person dot name so i will write uh, maybe student one to student two so i will change so this will return student two because i have updated this object so this is how we can create objects in javascript now i'll show you how we can create an array in javascript so we can create an array with the help of square bracket so let's suppose I want to create an array of which array name is A and we have to use square bracket inside we can pass the value and it value could be anything. Maybe you can add object, you can add number, you can add string, you can add boolean or you can add anything combinations. So I will create an array of number. So this is an array of number and I want to print this array so we'll use console.log and here I will save and this is an array the length is 3 and the 0 index the value is 23 1 index value is 56 and second index we have a value of 87 we can also print the each index value with the help of a is a very uh, array name and inside in the square bracket you can pass index 
So let's suppose I want to print 56. So its index is 0 and then 1. So it will pass the index and it will return 56. And one of the best thing about array, you can cre uh, create an array of uh, mixture. You can add anything in the array. So let's suppose I want to create add a name. So here I will, so here I will add a number and higher I will add a boolean variable here I will add a name so we can also create a array this which is mixture of variables so I will write console.log and here I will read add a b and this is so this is how you can create a array now I will talk about for loop so you can create an array as a you know like uh, we can create an array with the help of square bracket where we can pass a value uh, let 67 and then 89 for creating a for loop well, you need to use for as a keyword and here you need to define three things so first is initial uh, starting point and then termination point and the increment point so here we will define a variable let i is equal to zero and here i less than a dot length a dot length is a length is a predefined method that you can use for defining a length of this array and then I will increment to the plus one and in this curly braces we can write console.log and here we can pass a of i and this is how we can print the array or you can also concatenate as I mentioned in the previous part so we can mention index at and maybe here you can pass the index so index l i and here you can also pass plus symbol value is and equal to so index 0 at value is to keep this one and this one this one and this one So this is how you can uh, create a for loop. Now I'll show you some operations that we can perform in array. So let's suppose I have created an array. So the value is four, maybe six and seven and then nine. So this is an array and we can also print the value of array. So save and then reload this page. So this is a array having a four element. Now I'll talk about some methods. So first method is push method. So we can add some element in the last index with the help of push method. So a dot push and here we can pass the value is 45 and I will save after push operations. So it will the new element will be added at the last index with the help of push method. Or if you want to add element in the starting index, you just need to use unstripped method. So this is a A and I'll write unshift and here we can pass a value, let's suppose 23 and here we'll write console.log and I will print the array. So 23 is added in beginner index, zero index. So this is all about adding element We can also remove the element from the first index or from the last index. So for removing element from the last index, we just need to use pop method. So this is an array and I just need to perform pop method. And after pop method, I will print console.log and I will print the array. So initially the array, the element is four, six, seven, nine. And now after performing a pop operation, nine will be removed and the new array is four, six, seven. Or you, if you want to remove the element from the first index, so you just need to use shift method. So I'll write a dot shift and that's it. And console dot log, the value is a. And what I'll do, I will comment this logic. And this is an array and it will remove the from the beginning index. So first index, the value is four, so it will be removed.
you can also remove the element from XYZ index. So you just need to use splice method. So here you can pass the index. So let's suppose I want to remove six. So the value, uh, the index of six is zero and one. So this is one and how many element we want to remove so i want to remove only six so i will add one and that's it and i will console dot log and here i will print this array so six is removed with the help of splice method first value you have to pass is the index and then how many element you want to remove now i'll show you how we can create a function so you can create a function in JavaScript with the help of function as a keyword and then you need to define a function name. So let's say my function name is show data and then a small bracket and inside curly braces you can define a property or define, define the uh, logic. So maybe here we can pass console.log and here we can add some data like hello and we can call a function with the help of function name and then small brackets. And that's it. So function is called. You can call the function in maybe two times, three times. It's totally up to you. So I have called this function is four times, so it will return four times value. Now I'll create a function. The function name is sum, and it which will take a two parameter. The first parameter is a, and second parameter is b. And what I want to do, I want to print this logic add this logic so a plus b so we can call this function so we'll call this function sum of maybe 34 and 67 the value it will return 101 and if i talk about xma script you can create arrow functions so what you can do you can create arrow functions let uh, the function name is show data so this is my function name and here we can pass a parameter so uh, i right now i have, have i do not have a parameter and what i want to do it uh, i want to return console.log so i will add hello so both are the same thing this is for the older javascript means before the ecma script part when we can, when we have ecma script we can create also create a arrow functions with this entire logic so I will comment this logic and I want to call this functions. So I will call the function in the same way. So this is how we can print the function with the help of ECMA. So same thing I want to perform sum. So I will add a sum and equal to which takes a two parameter. So I will copy this parameter here and we will use we have to use arrow as a keyword. And what I want to do, I want to return uh, this logic. So I will add this one and that's it. So after ECMA, we can create a function in simple way. And here, maybe you can pass the value. So this is how you can create a function in JavaScript. As I have mentioned earlier that uh, you can also perform some actions or you can trigger some events. Uh, through HTML elements. So uh, let's suppose I have created a button here. We can pass the value of this button is so data. And for performing a JavaScript ac actions or event. So there is a lot of method that you can use uh, as an attribute. So first attribute is on click as a method. So this is a on click as an attribute that you can use inside. You can pass a JavaScript method. So my JavaScript method is show data and which I need to define. So this is a show data. So I will create a function which name is show data. And here we can print console.log. And here what I add, hello. So I will save and I will reload this page. And again, I will save this page. So this is a button. When I click on this button, the actions is called on click. So same, uh, you there are a lot of things as an attribute you can pass like on click, on change, on mouse over. So you just need to explore the documentation of JavaScript. Now I'll show you how we can collect the input from the user end. 
So let's suppose this is an input field. So the input type is equal to text and there is a button. So here I will add a button and I will pass on click as a method. And here we can write show data as a method name. So we'll use small bracket. And here we can pass ID as a name, which take as a name. And I want to print the name here. So I will add div as a result. And in JavaScript, what I want to do when I uh, click on this button, I need to get the value from this input and I will want to print that input value in this particular div element. So first we need to create a function name is so data. So dear, so this is how we can create a function. So data inside so data. What I want to do, I want to I want to col collect the value from this input field. So I want to store the value or what I'll write document dot get element by ID and I want to collect the ID's name in single quotes or double quotes. You can use anything and here we will pass the value. So like I want to get a document whose ID is name and this is a document. Uh, this is a DOM element and I want to get the value. So this will return a value. And I need to store this value in a variable. So this is a variable name is name data here you can add and you can also print the name console.log and here you can print a name save and then I will reload this page. So uh, in the better section uh, here we add show data save and then so this is a text field uh, here. I will write a text format and when I click on this button, so it will return. OK, uh, I will add. OK, so when I click on uh, add some text in the text field, so when I click on this button, give give it a data two times three times is totally up to you. Now what I want to do, I want to show the value in this development so we can print. Uh, we can print the data in the development with the help of inner HTML as a logic. So this is a document and I can get element by ID. So ID is a res is for the result. So in the double single quotes or double quotes, you can add it and there is a method or logic in HTML inside inner HTML. You can create a paragraph of here. And uh, like with the help of JavaScript get uh, you can pass the name. Uh, not a name. This is a name data and save and then reload. So when I click on tag format, it will show you the tag format. When I click on tag format 32, so it will return tag format 32. So this is how uh, you can get the data from the input field and you can print the data in the development with the help of JavaScript. Now we will create a, a array of object. So this is a student's name students uh, array of objects. So this is an array inside we can pass a object like key value pair. So the key is name is equal to S1 and the age of student is maybe you can pass uh, 12 and again you can create the same thing uh, like uh, three times. So this one is for the student two and this one is for the student three and the age is 14 and here maybe you can pass 16. So this is the array of objects and we can print the data with the help of for loop. So the, here we can define a for let i is equal to zero and i less than student dot length. It will return a length of the array and i plus plus. 
So when I print console.log student of i, so it will return a one uh, one by one object. So I will reload this page. So this is the first object and second object and third object. What I want to do, I want to print the data for the each object. So we can use console.log and like as you know student of i it will return a object inside this object i want to print a name so this is a name and here we can pass a string at intonations and again student of i and then age and yeah so this is how you can yeah so this is how you can print the student like student one it is this one this one and this one now i'll show you how we can print uh, that entire logic in html so what i do i will create a table and inside table we have two things like table head and then we have a table row and then we have a two sections like first section is for colon is for td here we can add a name and another another td is for the age now uh, another we have table body here the rows will be dynamic so here what i'll do i will add id is equal to uh, here we can pass id is res so i need to write this logic in this block so like we'll write document dot get element by id i will collect the id from the res and then i need to pass inner html and i need to create a row so so rather than creating a double quotes or sing, uh, single quotes you can also use this symbol for creating a multi-line string so every time I, what i want to do every time i want to create a row so this is a row for the first object and second object and inside this row i want to print a uh, two column so this one is for the first column and i will save and copy and paste so i need to print this value so inside this particular symbol we need to use dollar symbol and then curly braces and you need to pass the object so the value is student now name it will return the uh, the name and same for the age so i will write age so i will comment this logic and yes here you need to use the close bracket so the value has printed uh, in the html section but uh, the value is uh, we got s3 not for s2 and s1 so this will overwrite this logic first it will print the student one and then it will overwrite to the student one to the two and then th three so this is how we get the value of three so what i want i need to concatenate or append this logic so here i will add a plus symbol and here so this is how we can print the javascript array of object in html dom element now what i want to do i will add the same thing so i will create a two fields like input fields uh, input type is equal to text here we can pass an id is equal to name and here we can create another input box and this one is for the number so we will add a number here we can pass uh, age and there is a button for add data and we can perform a javascript operations like on click when i click on this button i need to call the method or a function add data so the, again the same thing like i will create a function my function name is add data and inside add data i need to get two value first value is let's suppose the name so i will add n1 we will write document dot get element by id here we can pass a name which is we have defined as an id and 
then we need to collect the value so that's why we will write a value and same for let the age so i will add a1 so we'll write document dot get element by id and this one is for the age and value so this is how we can get collect the value from the input element so what i want to do i will create an object so let's suppose uh, the object is uh, data and this is the object so in the same format i will do so i will uh, like we have name and the name is n1 and another we have kh so age is a1 now we have array of object and this is an object i i need to insert element in an object so we can use push we can use push method or unshift method so i will use unshift method for printing a data from the begin so this is a array students dot unshift method and here we can pass a data is an object and that's it so data is already added so what i'll do i will create a function another function for printing an array uh, this logic so we will create a function like show data so i will add this entire logic in this particular section and here i will call this method show data so initially when the javascript block is a uh, call so this particular section or a, a javascript function will invoke and it will print the data when we click on the add data it will you will get the data from the input field and there is an object and you need to insert the data into the array and again you need to refresh or you need to print the show data method so i will reload this page so we have a section so we are here we'll write tech format and maybe you can pass the value is let's suppose one to three and the value is added in the javascript part but uh, again this will concatenate so what i want to do uh, like whenever we are trying uh, going to the show data logic so it will blank the entire uh, inside the html dom element and then from zero it will print so again tech format one two three and then data is added tech format one one two three four the value is added so this is how we can create a simple project with the help of javascript you can also perform the delete operations you can do that so we will create a delete functionality so i will create another column for the actions so here we can create actions so here i will pass a border is equal to one and here we can add an action and this is a script part so here we will create a button for the delete logic so what i'll do i will create a button we double t when I will close the button and I want to call the method on click method and here we can add a delete so uh, we will create a math function delete data so D delete data here we can pass the index so how we can pass the index uh, so as you know like we have a splice method where we have mentioned like inside array we can pass the specific element from this particular index with the help of splice method so which we need an index of this particular uh, like when i click on this button i need to get the index so that's how this is how we are we will add dollar symbol curly braces and this is an index which is index is i so here we will print i add i so now we will create a function for the delete so we will add a functions or i will copy this part which takes a parameter the parameter is index so 
I just use console.log for checking the index, save, and then reload this page. So when I click on this button, so index is 0, 1, 2, 3. So what I want to do at this particular index, I want to delete the logic. So if we're deleting a logic, we have a section confirm box. So it will ask like, are you really uh, want to delete or something? So we can do that uh, for form. So this is a if logic and there is a confirm box. We can use confirm box here. We can write like, are you sure? Or if the user will click on the yes button, it will return a true. So it will return a true. Now we want to remove the data. So we want to remove the data or element from this array. So this is an array and then we have a splice method and the first we will pass an index and then how many value you want to remove. So there's a one and after remove the logic and then we need to print the data and that's it. So I want to remove the S2. It will ask, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So it will remove. Are you want to remove? No, that's nothing. So this is a simple uh, JavaScript basic tutorial uh, where I have explained the variables, constant, object, array, operations, function, and the simple application. In the upcoming video, I will talk about more in advance in JavaScript. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.